Good morning, beautiful people. Um, so, let me introduce myself first. My name's um, Gavin, or GJ, from GNJ Towing, as you can see from my truck over there. That's a uh, 2015 Isuzu FSD 700. And um, that's one of the first tow trucks that I started with. And um, yeah, so now that we got that all sorted, um, in this video, I'm here to teach all you new towies out there how to pick up a container smoothly. Um, because there's, so, there's all these different ways how to do it, right? There's, there's heaps of little things to learn, little, little tricky things, but, you know, too, depending on the, the type of job or whatnot, but I'm here to teach uh, a smooth, basic way, like, that not 80% of the jobs you'll come across when picking up a 20 foot container or a 10 foot container using a tilt tray tow truck. And um, yeah, pretty much um, I'll go through, I'll go through um, how to pick up the tow truck and uh, uh, the 20 foot container and um, getting the truck under and then getting your tray under and then, you know, backing your truck up into the um, 20 foot container so yeah real basic it's the smoothest way though like easy to learn you know I, I learned the hard way I had to I didn't get proper training so I had to figure out myself the best way kind of thing I, I learned by tilting this tilting the tray sliding it in lifting back wheels up doing all these tricky stuff when simply I could have just um, used the winch to back my tray my truck you get me so yeah I'm here to just basically teach teach you the basic way and get it all smooth for you because no one wants a hard a hard job when time man just want to be in and out nice and smooth no damages off you go and here I am DJ gonna teach you how to do it now Yeah, so I'll be voice recording um, in the background here, just um, so I can give you, yeah, see that? Don't do that. <laughs> just showing you what kind of skills I have, my non-safety skills. But yeah, pretty much you already parked yourself, you know, good distance from the container there. And um, you just want to tilt it, extend it out, tilt it to where it shows there, bring the winch down, pretty much get it hooked on both sides. I put the hook in um, from the inside, not from the outside, so the chains and stuff are still within the lip of the, um, the tray. Yeah, so tension it, you want to tension it back there. Now what we're going to do here is pretty much lift the, lift the container up by picking the back up. And since the container's tension in the winch, it'll lift wherever you lift the tray. Chuck it up just like that, both sides. Try not to walk over the winch like that. If you can go around the container, do so. It's more safer and just in case the winch does fly off. You never know. You never know. And once it's down, place it back on the chalk. And then as you see in there, you slide the tray underneath the container. And that way it's sitting on your tray. Move your chocks away. So when you do Reverse, they're not in the way. Just keep in mind, we use timber, normally timber, but we lost, driver's arm lost the timber, so I gotta restock on that. So I'm just using bricks at this, before this video. But pretty much what I did was jump in, um, took off the handbrake, now I place myself in a position where I can see what's happening and I'm just winching in. And when you're winching in, 
the weight of the container stays and you're pulling your truck under the winch will pull your truck under because you're neutral right you're just rolling because you've got wheels so what's the lightest the truck the truck will roll itself under as you winch in and I'm about three quarters down the tray once you're about three quarters down the tray then you can um, make contact with the tray and the container so see that little gap between the tray and the container you would boom right there make contact that way from here you can pick up the whole container off the ground see the end part of the container there off the ground once that is from here you can slide your tray all the way in or you can winch it from from this stage you winch it and then yeah do what you please you can slide your tilt in slide your tilt um, drop your tilt um, the trace <laughs> is when I would lean winch winch in while I'm leaning on it and that way we kick over and shorten this gap and should line up perfectly as you winch in surprisingly you get you get some good results doing this even though the container is heavy listen for that bang Into the inside of the lip. These are guiders, these little um, these little guiders here kick it straight so it lines up perfectly with your container pinholes. And you split it up the rest. the tray out. It's going to get past those locking points over here. Stand up before it allows you to go up in the air. Once you go up in the air. So I would keep going. You see these stabilizers here? They touch the ground first. So this catches the rock and I'm still going up. Still going up, that's max. That's max. So, the goal is to extend the tray. I mean, to shake the, shake the container off. But first, winch out first. So you wanna press winch out to loosen your winch. About, um, what do you call it, a meter? half a meter like I said put you back on here and watch it slide off as I press slide in slide out so you want to get the revs up for this stage because you want um, instant action fast revs to to be able to shake it fast otherwise you just it won't work just watch See how that moves, sliding down, see the dirt in the container pinholes, rattling on, loosen the winch more. Go back up to the top. I'm happy there. So once it's over hung like that, pick it back up. Just so, so you can slide out more and drop the container where you want to place it. So I would probably place another meter distance. Right there, sweet, I'm happy there, place it right there, drop it down. So 
right now. Created that, that gap. That means I'm not catching the weight of the container anymore. Make sure that the tray is a little bit off the ground like that. And once it's off the ground, even a gap like that between the container and the tray. Just nothing's touching the ground. You don't want anything to touch the ground. Take the, take the winch off. Pinch first, fingers away at all times. The winch. Take it out. So once it's done like that, pretty much. It's the opposite to what you would do for pickup. So you're just driving forward right now. So handbrake off, literally first gear to creep out. And then when you hit this stage right here, you just, um, I mean, once you feel like you've got a foot left before the container falls off, a foot or half a meter, then you jump out, put your handbrake on, jump out, and um, you get up close and personal here in case it was a nice driveway or something. You want to be, um, yeah, you want to be cautious and tilt, tilt it down, get it closer to the ground, slide in. If there was chocks at this point, if there was chocks at this, if you wanted to put chocks, you would um, place the chocks under the container first and then place the container down on the chocks and then slide your tray away. And that's a drop off. So now what we're gonna do here is pretend like there was something in front, in front here. We're gonna to try to park this container next to this other container on our left here. But, but picturing there was something in front of our truck so we couldn't just back up straight to it. We had to come on an angle. So you would do the same thing. I left the container a bit overhang already and just reverse back to the spot, but you would you would start shaking off at this stage, you get the one meter overhang, or half a meter overhang, and then um, then you would just slide the container into position. But the overhang was already there, so I'm just sliding the container into position, and I want it pretty much the left side of my container next to the other container on my left there. And once I get that, make sure, Everything's off the ground again. Just so keep in mind, we're going to try to square up the container here. So, show me how to do a flick right now. Just um, pretty much as you're driving forward, you want to turn your steering wheel to the right. That way, your back end is going to be Look how my steering wheel was. Look to the right. So I'm flicking it. Flicking my tail to place this container here. And pretty much from here, all you have to do is tilt it down a little bit. And slide your... You know what I mean? You drop it off nicely like that. Keep sliding. You can pull it away, but um, yeah, and then um, yeah, slide up, slide the tray, your tray all the way in, fall on the truck nicely or into the ground just like that, and then now it's all about taking my truck out of here, and yeah. Yeah, subscribe for more um, yeah more videos like like this and um, yeah hopefully this taught you a lot basics but very effective yeah don't forget to subscribe